Hi, I'm Rabbi Chai Posner bringing you back to the basics you may have known and the basics you may not have known. As part of our Shabbat experience here at Beth Tefillah, today we're discussing blessing the children. Now you probably know that on Friday night many people have the custom to give a bracha to their children. You probably know that we do this by putting two hands on their head and then reciting a bracha. You may not have known that the bracha that we recite is actually a two-part. The second part of it is familiar to us. May God bless you and keep you and so on and so forth. This is the priestly blessing. We recite this blessing many other places as well. And it's a beautiful, beautiful blessing that our children should have spiritual and physical material blessing in their lives. The first part of the blessing is perhaps less well known. For girls, we say, Yisimech Elohim, Kisara, Rivka, Rachel, Valeah. May God make you like Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. We bless our girls that they grow up to be like our great matriarchs. The boys' blessing is a little bit stranger. We bless them, Yisimcha Elohim, may God bless you, make you like Ephraim and Menashe. I would have thought we say God should make you like Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. But we say instead they should make you like Ephraim, that God should make you like Ephraim and Menashe, Yosef's two sons. Why? There are numerous reasons given for this, but I want to share my two favorite. One idea is that Ephraim and Menashe don't fight. They get along. Well, they probably fought. They were brothers. But there's no big episodes of one's jealousy leading to a big fight or real distance between them. And so we say to our children, most importantly, we want you to get along. Especially important before embarking on a Shabbat meal where they're going to sit together and vie for our attention. Secondly, Ephraim and Menashe were the first in the line of Avraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov, the next generation, Yosef, and finally Ephraim and Menashe to grow up completely in exile. They grew up in Egypt with Yosef, who was second to Paro, in the palace and in Egyptian society and culture, they could have easily assimilated, easily strayed from their Jewish tradition, but they didn't. And so we say to our children, we may not live in the land of Israel, but we want you to stay strong to your Jewish tradition. It's really a beautiful way of saying we want you to get along, we want you to stay connected to your Judaism, and to girls, we want you to grow up to be great Jewish female role models. May it be a blessing for all of us that in the next generation this comes true. Have a great day.